Hi, I'm Brian Poole from the Enterprise team at Epic Games, and we're working with AMD to help get your design data into Unreal Engine. And I'm Michael Katz from the Radeon Technologies Group at AMD. Today we'd like to demonstrate how a suite of free software tools enables CAD users to quickly and easily bring their designs into Unreal for visualization in high quality virtual reality. That's right. In addition to Epic's Datasmith initiative, which is currently in beta, AMD is now offering SolidWorks users a path into the engine. And we like to say, all roads lead to Unreal. I'll explain later what we're doing on the Epic side, but right now, let's hear more about AMD's approach. SolidWorks users are already familiar with the benefits of using professional workstation hardware and certified graphics and drivers like the Radeon Pro WX series to access productivity enhancing features like real view and order independent transparency. And Unreal developers and gamers know that Unreal Engine scales up to deliver the highest quality interactive experiences, which places intense demands on CPU, graphics, and storage, pretty much every aspect of a workstation. Keep in mind that whatever content we create for the PC screen is going to need much more horsepower for VR because the system must feed unique images into each eye of the headset at high frame rates. To meet these performance demands, we are using an Apex 4 workstation from Box. It has a 16 core 32 thread Ryzen Threadripper 1950X CPU, 32 gig of RAM, and two Radeon Pro WX9100 graphics cards. That's a pretty impressive system. Let's see what you can do. We'll start in SolidWorks using this model provided by Blueprint Automation. Blueprint Automation is a worldwide leader in packaging automation. Their machinery is large and complex, so room scale VR is a perfect tool for them and their customers to evaluate designs digitally. Now there are a number of methods of bringing CAD models into Unreal. Today we're using Radeon Pro Render, a free add-in for SolidWorks. Pro Render creates stunningly realistic renderings directly from SolidWorks, and because the ray tracing code is based on OpenCL, Pro Render runs especially fast on GPUs. So that's why we have two WX9100 cards in this system. Exactly. Pro Render scales the ray tracing calculations across all available GPUs and will also run on the CPU. Even a powerful GPU like the WX9100 can get bogged down in VR if the geometry is too heavy. For this reason, we added a feature called Selective Decimation, which helps me intelligently manage the mesh quality on a part-by-part -part or assembly-by-assembly -assembly basis. That's smart. There's no sense of rendering polygons for parts that are hidden inside the model or unimportant for the design review. So once the geometry is optimized, a single click exports the Pro Render scene. Pro Render automatically converts all the SolidWorks materials applied during the design into physically correct Pro Render materials. Okay, but how do we solve getting materials into Unreal? Pro Render automatically translates Pro Render physically correct materials into Unreal shaders. The appearances applied in the SolidWorks design phase will appear correctly in Unreal. Let's open Unreal and have a look. Okay. Since our Blueprint Automation project needs room scale VR, we'll begin with an Unreal template that supports VR with motion controllers for teleportation. The VR templates are definitely the fastest and easiest path for a beginner to create a VR project in Unreal. And there's nobody more of a beginner than me. Now we'll import the ProRender scene that we saved from SolidWorks using the ProRender Game Engine Importer for Unreal. This is a free plugin for Unreal 4.17. The engine importer can maintain the CAD hierarchy by importing all of the subassemblies as distinct objects. But to keep things easy, I'm going to combine everything in the pro render scene into a single Unreal asset. That's nice how the engine importer launches you straight into the Unreal Blueprint Editor for the object. For Unreal beginners, the Blueprint Editor is how we define the appearances and behavior attributes of an Unreal asset. As we mentioned before, ProRender automatically translated materials and appearances. So all we need to do here is apply physics and gravity properties to this object. Then we compile the blueprint and close the blueprint editor window. It looks like the importer put the center of the object in the center of the Unreal scene, so it appears below the floor of our VR template. That's easy enough to fix. I'll grab the blue arrow on the object and raise the model to float in space. When I play, the scene in VR, gravity kicks in and the model will automatically drop to the floor. You can also play around with not applying gravity at all. Now Unreal is also known for really spectacular lighting. Unreal does offer fantastic lighting, but once again, I am trying to keep things simple by using the default skylight in the Unreal VR template. I just need to add a reflection capture sphere to ensure that reflective materials like the stainless steel in this model interact correctly with the Unreal Skylight. Now we should be ready to delve into VR. Note that Radeon Pro software lets me dynamically switch from the certified professional drivers that I was using in CAD to the gaming drivers that give additional performance in VR. My VR headset is already configured on this system, so I'll run the VR preview directly from the Unreal Editor, and I'm able to view the object in VR, walk around the object, and teleport around it with the motion controllers, test collision boundaries with the grabbable blocks in the scene,
and even put my head inside of the model. I like that you offer a photorealistic renderer and a simple path into Unreal Engine. Plus, it's free. I think for those who want to jump in with minimal effort and cost, you can start with the Pro Renderer Game Engine Importer. If you find yourself needing more, then you should look into Unreal Datasmith. Datasmith won't be free, but it takes things to the next level by supporting multiple CAD formats and provides powerful data preparation tools. Either way, you'll wind up in Unreal Engine, so start exploring the possibilities today. ProRender for SolidWorks is free, Unreal Engine is free, and the ProRender Game Engine Importer is free. It's an incredibly useful solution that's accessible to everyone. What should we do next? There are a number of topics we could cover in future videos. For example, there are different considerations for creating an Unreal project for virtual reality compared to augmented reality. This AR headset from Meta is particularly interesting because it supports full-powered desktop graphics. And I've heard some SolidWorks users have told us that they'd like to be able to learn how to grab and manipulate ProRender objects in VR. So let us know if you'd like to see that as a tutorial. Also, in early 2018, AMD will release a Radeon ProRender plugin for Unreal that generates photorealistic still renderings directly from the Unreal Editor, regardless of whether the data comes in through the Engine Importer, Datasmith, or any other means. Leave your thoughts in the comments below and let us know what topic you'd like to see us explore in more detail. Thanks to our friends at Newegg for hosting us, thanks to Box for providing this amazing workstation, and thanks to you for watching. Click the links in the video description below to download ProRender for free, get started with Unreal for free, and apply for the Datasmith beta. We look forward to reading your comments.